high. In this lecture, we are going to see about the serial in serial of shift registers. What is meaning by serial in serial of shift registers? In the serial in serial of shift registers, data to be entered in a single side and data to be leave in a single side. That means the data bits come in one at a time and leave one at a time. Here we are using the flip flop. This flip flop to be connected together in each flip flop is handle a single bit of data. Movement can be left or right, but usually is only one single direction in a given register. Now we are going to see about the construction of the serial in serial of shift registers. This is the serial in serial of shift registers. Here we are using four flip flop. This four flip flop shift register handling the four bit data. Here the first flip flop output is connected to the input of the second flip flop. The second flip flop output is connected to the input of the third flip flop. The third flip flop output is connected to the input of the fourth flip flop and fourth flip flop output is the data output. The first flip flop input is called as the data input. All the flip flops are connected in a clock pulse. Initially, all flip flops output becomes zero because of it is no data to be available in this output. Here we are using the my data input. Here my data input is 1101. Here we are using positive edge clock pulse signal. Now we are going to apply my first clock pulse signal. This is our first data. This is the least significant to most significant. The least significant data to be entered in first. First we are going to apply the first clock pulse. The data to be shifted as like that. Here we are using the D flip flop. Here we are going to apply the clock pulse. The input data to be shifted to the output. This is our data. First flip flop output becomes 1. Second flip flop output 0. Third flip flop output 0. And fourth flip flop output 0. Then we are going to apply the second clock pulse. This second bit can be moved as like that. First flip flop output becomes 0. Second flip flop output becomes 1. Third flip flop output becomes 0. And fourth flip flop output becomes 0. Next we are going to apply the third clock pulse. That time this 0 is moved to here. This 1 is moved to here. And this 0 is moved to here. Next data input is entered into here. Just look at here. This is our third clock pulse. This third clock pulse, the data to be more as like that. This time, the first. First flip flop output becomes 1. Second flip flop output becomes 0. Third flip flop output becomes 1. Fourth flip flop output becomes 0. This is the table. Here, this 0 is moved to here. This 1 is moved to here. And this 0 is moved to here. Next, we are going to apply the fourth clock pulse. The final data to be entered here and the first data input becomes output of the fourth flip flop. This is the fourth clock pulse. This one is shifted to here. This zero is shifted to here. This one is shifted to here. This is the final input data. What is observed here? Clock pulse, this data to be outside. This data to be outside. This is the timing diagram of the Serial in serial of shift registers. Here we are using positive edge clock pulse. This is the first clock pulse. What happened here? The first data to be entered. At this time, all other flip flop output becomes zero. After the second clock pulse, this one is shifted to here. And after the second third clock pulse, this one is this one is shifted to here. After the fourth clock pulse, this one is shifted to here. What do you observe here? This data to be entered and second clock pulse this data to be shifted to here and the third clock pulse this data to be shifted to here and fourth clock pulse this data to be shifted to here. After the fourth clock pulse the, this is the output data. In the serial in serial out shift register can be used for the various application in data communication such as RS232 modem transmission and reception ethernet links and so on.